you sure you can handle this? Have ever disappointed you? The sealed case is in the trunk. Yes, sir. Please have a seat. Would you like some cookies yes. or tea? Mm. No, thanks, ma'am. Are you interested in books? Mm. Usually not. I don't have time for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Always busy and training and no time for reading while enjoying some tea and cookies. Ma'am, um, can we cut to the chase and you just tell me why you invited me here? I thought I'd fancy a little chit chat. That's none of my business, ma'am. Here you are, darling. <sighs> There's nothing more beautiful than the smell of books. Would you like to read a page to me? Ma'am, I don't think... Please, just one page. Be good. Yes, love, but not the love that loves for something, gains something, or because of something, but the love that I felt for the first time when dying, I saw my enemy and yet loved him. I know that feeling of love, which is the essence of the soul, for which no object is needed, and I know that blissful feeling not true. To love one's neighbor, to love one's enemies, to love everything, to love God in all his manifestations. Someone dear to one can be loved with human love, but an enemy can only be loved with divine love. And that was why I felt such joy when I felt that I loved that man. What happened to him? Is he alive? Loving with human love, one may pass from love to hatred, but divine love cannot change. Nothing, not even death, can shatter in this very name. You know, that's, that's absolute bullshit. Leo Tolstoy? He's a true literary genius. How old are you exactly, my dear? 16. He's gone insane. Who? Nobody. Wakey, wakey. The fuck, man? Morning, sleeping beauty. My head is killing me. Your head is currently nothing when you're trying to do that. Duh. What did you inject me? Something that was made, especially for a mind for a few minutes. What is it for? Torture. Go on, reading. Ma'am, why am I here? Read. No, that's not my job. No? You don't do what people tell you to do for money? Yeah, usually I do, but... Go on, reading. <sighs> It's not given to people to judge what's right or wrong. People have eternally been mistaken and will be mistaken and in nothing more than in what they consider right. That's, that's ridiculous. It's not my job to do things like reading boring ass stories to a weird bitch like you are. Sit down. What for? I don't know why I should stay here for another goddamn second. Tell me you fucking freak. We can only know that we know nothing and that is the highest degree of human wisdom. You know slice a goddamn throat and I really could. So give me one reason. One reason not to do it. The sedative part of the mixture keeps your adrenaline level low so your body keeps quiet and your brain doesn't chain up your memories. 
which means you can enjoy every moment of this. The fun part of the mixture makes every single nerve in your body more responsive, so your brain has the exclusive opportunity to experience its full potential of pain. Oh, and I'm not the chemist, but I think there's also something in there that makes you feel like you haven't slept in days. So trust me, you're not gonna sleep. Side effects can be massive hallucinations of both auditory and visual nature. Enjoy the ride. Are you thirsty? Yes. <laughs> you really want to stop, do you? Well, I might be able to help you out. But only if you tell the combination. I can't. You'll kill me. Quite the bummer. Oh, what, you just... Oh. Really? Oh, come on. Where, where's the fun in that? Didn't you learn to always keep your cool in your training or whatever you call it? You are the most pathetic hitman I've ever met. And trust me, I know some of you guys. And for threatening me like this, I definitely should kill you. But then again, I already have. You. You. You what? I find you. But was it the cookie? No, that would have been way too easy. A thrilling read, don't you think? The book? But you touched it too. You even kissed the book. Let me tell you something. If you want to harm somebody, you should be immune to the weapon you use. That's why I hate knives and guns. But poison? Poison is a very delicate thing. Every pharaoh, every Caesar, every king knew how to become immune to poison. A little dose, just a few drops per day. The whole book is so poisonous that even holding it kills you within at least two hours. I myself could eat one of its pages and wouldn't even be bothered with anything but a bit of stomach ache. But why have you, have you poisoned me? <laughs> oh honey, I don't care about you at all. You could be literally anybody. <coughs> but I have one last job for you. Visit your master or whatever you call him and tell him that I want my drugs back. And you'd be well advised to hurry up. You don't have much time left. What if... What if I refuse to take the job? Oh, that's easy. I will find your body and bring it to your boss. A bouquet of roses is nothing against a dead little hitman all wrapped up with a nice ribbon. So be a good boy and don't embarrass yourself in those last moments. I'm sure you can show yourself out. Goodbye, Noah. Fuck you. Look what I found. Safe. 
Oh, that's a matter of perspective, but personally I'd say it certainly appears so. Michael? Speaking. You son of a bitch, where's Joshua? I'm afraid he's currently unavailable. I should have killed you. <laughs> For once we agree, old friend. Beautiful. How much time's you got left? Twelve minutes and a few seconds. And that means You drop that on the floor of his office. Well played. I know. Would you fancy a stroll, brother? Shall I bring my pet in case you want to chat something down? You, you gotta stop with those poetry references. I don't read any of that shit. I don't care. What would I do without you, huh? Probably run right into this tree. You're an asshole. I know that. I know that you know. I know that you know that I know. How many are you still ahead? Two. I gotta stop torturing people without killing them.